It's very easy to grade and give effective feedback using rubrics in Schoology. When I look at an assignment that has an attached rubric, as the teacher, I can see any information on the assignment as well as see the rubric I've created and any comments that students have posted. Once a student submits an assignment, I can grade it. So let me go and get a student submission here. Just like always, in order to grade the assignment, I click on the student's name and it brings up their assignment, which will eventually load. There we can see sample student text. All I have to do to grade is click on the rubric icon and click the score that I want to give the student. Now, one thing that we've heard teachers say is, well, it would be really nice if I could tell the student why they got a three and what they would need in order to get a four or whatever the case may be. And you can do that by clicking on this little talk bubble balloon that pops up when you mouse over certain scores. I could say, add more detail to get a four. And I'm gonna save it and you'll see it automatically tallies the grade for me. That's great. But what does it look like from the student's perspective? From the student side, when I go back into the assessment, I can see that yes, it was submitted. I can see my grade was a 15 out of 16. And if I click the small rubric icon, it will actually bring up the rubric as the teacher scored it, along with those talk balloons that when I click on, uh, mouse over them, it gives me the detail that the teacher said. In this case, add more detail to get a four. So that's a great way to give feedback to your students by using a rubric. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact either Taylor or myself, and thanks for watching.